we want to do is to, to take care of our population, our patients, uh, help them heal from chronic wounds. Six and a half million people uh, in the United States are walking around with chronic wounds. Um, and we want to prevent amputations in our community, uh, help our community be a healthier place to live, uh, and help our patients. Um, I think that's the goal of most things here at Conway. Hyperbaric chambers are used to treat um, chronic wounds uh, that have failed conventional treatment. People who have had uh, wounds that have gone down to the bone called osteomyelitis. Those, those, those wounds sometimes require long-term antibiotics and even with that sometimes they fail to heal. And in the past what's happened is these folks would go towards the amputation route. Now hyperbaric oxygen delivers pressurized oxygen in a self-contained environment. You feel quite at ease and as if you're in an open space. In fact, we have TVs there that you can watch and um, you can have a family member sitting there. Uh, so, so it's not an enclosed environment where people feel claustrophobic. In fact, that's hardly ever an issue with hyperbaric oxygen. So you go into the hyperbaric oxygen chamber and it, it's funny because a lot of people think you go into the chamber and there's this pressure in the chamber, which there is, and the pressure pushes the oxygen into the wound site and the wound gets better. That's not what happens. What happens is there is a high pressure in the chamber and you're breathing an environment that's enriched with oxygen. And when you breathe that, because it's under higher pressure, more oxygen permeates through the lung into the blood. So most, most of the time you're breathing 21% oxygen, which is what's in the atmosphere. And here we get a much higher percentage of oxygen in the blood. So your blood's carrying this very, very enriched oxygen component and that circulates through your body and it also goes to the areas where your wounds are. And the most important factor in, in wound healing is delivery of oxygen to the wound. So you're getting enhanced delivery of oxygen and the wound heals much faster. Hyperbaric oxygen as a medical modality as a, and as a treatment has been around for for about a hundred years, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, the Navy really brought it to prominence in the middle of uh, the last century. Is we can treat divers with what we call the bents. We can treat um, certain illnesses, specifically wounds, um, very effectively. Failed wounds, wounds that have not healed by other modalities. We can treat those and we can save limbs and it's approved by the FDA and all insurances pretty much pay for it because we know it's a treatment that works. And, you know, once we do start uh, therapeutic uh, hyperbaric treatments on a patient, uh, it's essentially every day, five days a week. We do that because we know that that's where we get our best success rate from, five treatments per week. Those patients are followed closely. They're examined prior to, prior to going into the chamber um, by a physician uh, who specializes in hyperbaric oxygen and wound care.